So today I want to talk to you about a, an app called Mind Node. It's a mind mapping, kind of brainstorming, creativity based app. And it's one of the few um, apps that are kind of multi-platform and also work with the Apple Vision Pro. So I'm an Apple user. I'm going to find out my feelings on this app, why I think you should consider it. Check the link in the comments below or keep on watching, keep on listening to find out more. Welcome back to consecutive day 1,548 of a diary of a rumpreneur. If you believe in my mission of saving the lives of children by attempting the ultimate ultra marathon of run blogging on consecutive days, the distance of a lap of the world, barefoot style, then do give this a subscribe, share, like, and comment. More people we get in front of, more money we raise, more children's lives we save, which is why I do this every single day. Thank you as always, and let's get started. So consecutive day, 1,548 of a diary of a rumpreneur. And uh, today's topic is about a, uh, an Apple-based app called Mind Node. Now it's a mind mapping, brainstorming, creativity, organization style app. Um, why am I talking about it today? Because if you've been listening to my recent episodes, I've managed to procure an Apple Vision Pro and I'm trying to find apps which work across all of my Apple devices, not just all of them with the exception of the Apple Vision Pro, all of them including the Apple Vision Pro. And this is one of the few that does that. It's certainly possibly the only one that I could come across that would fulfill my kind of mind mapping, kind of brainstorming creativity uh, aspects of my kind of software arsenal. And uh, yeah, if you're an Apple Vision Pro user, it's possibly one of the few devices or the few pieces of software you should be considering using so that you can use them across platform. Um, so what's so good about it? Well, it's just incredibly user-friendly. It's mind mapping, brainstorming, creativity-based software. So there's loads of kind of templates, how you can structure your kind of canvas. And it's very, very good for getting your ideas out there and then structuring them into some kind of orderly fashion. Um, it's quite good on the kind of uh, smartphone device or iPad device. You have a linear option as well, so you can kind of do things in this format and you can switch between the kind of canvas, the brainstorming canvas and the linear usage, which I found really useful. It also gives you the ability to tag things and, and create tasks on it as well. You can collaborate with others. Really cool piece of software. But where the Apple Vision Pro takes it to a whole new level is that you can brainstorm by dragging nodes all around your, work, your virtual workspace, which is a crazy concept. You are literally the brain in the middle of your brainstorm and uh, in a 3D immersive kind of way. And creative people are gonna absolutely love it. It's really intuitive, really easy to kind of get your thoughts out, either using your voice or um, typing the words in. But it's um, incredibly powerful piece of kit a piece of software and something that I'm just scratching the surface of at the moment. I'm considering switching over from Freeform, which is the, the Apple um, kind of native piece of software that they've created. Um, I used to love that piece of software, but it was pretty glitchy. I think my node could certainly potentially replace it, but um, I'll give you more feedback on this as I use it a little bit more. But uh, I think the learnings from my diary today are that if you're somebody who's creative, you likes to brainstorm, mind map, and you use an Apple Vision Pro, then you really need to be considering the uh, Mind Node app. It um, syncs across iCloud, across all your devices, and it's an incredibly powerful way of mind mapping and brainstorming, especially on the Apple Vision Pro. So you can take things to a whole new level. Um, if you're not an Apple Vision Pro user, it's still incredibly easy to use and incredibly user friendly across all other devices. Uh, certainly in the Apple suite. So uh, yeah, give it a shot. I don't think you'll regret it. It is a, a paid app, but there's plenty of, of usage in the free version. Uh, if you want to use it, I think you can get an annual subscription for about £20, or it's about £2.99 a month. So it's not big money, but if you're a regular user of apps like this, it could be definitely worth the investment. That's it for me today. Any questions or comments, drop me a line. I'll respond to everyone. 
do that, remember, if you believe in my mission of saving the lives of children by attempting the ultimate ultra marathon of run vlogging on consecutive days, distance of a lap of the world, barefoot style, then do give this a subscribe, share, like, a comment. The more people we get in front of, more money we raise, more children's lives we save, which is why I do this every single day. Thank you as always, stay positive, stay happy, I'll see you again tomorrow.